To add interactions like these, you need to enable hand physics. It's really simple. Let me show you how. Alright, so as usual, I'm using the starter project which has been set up with the latest Meta XR all-in-one SDK and it has been configured with all the player settings. Now you can also download this project from the GitHub link provided in the description below. Now to set up our scene, we need to add a camera rig. We can do that either from Meta's building blocks or we can search for the OVR camera rig interaction prefab and add it to a scene. Now it doesn't matter how you add the camera rig because the setup for hand physics is going to be the same. Now for this video, we'll be using the building blocks. So navigate inside Meta, Tools, Building Blocks, add the camera rig, add hand tracking, scroll all the way down and add the virtual hands as well. Now doing this will set up a camera rig with tracking space to track our headset, left and right hands and controllers. It also sets up the interaction block which manages and visualizes the hand interactions. Now to continue with the scene setup, let's close this window and collapse the camera rig game object. In the project window, search for large room. Make sure the search is selected to all. Select the prefab and add it to your scene. Then search for skybox gradient. Select this material and add it to your scene as well. Next, let's create some primitives and place them on the table and set them up for physics interactions. So for that, right click on your hierarchy, select 3D object and cube. Let's scale it down to 0.1 in all the direction and make sure to place it on top of the table. Then duplicate this a few more times and stack them on top of the other. Next, let's right click on the hierarchy and this time create spheres and scale them down to 0.1 as well. Place it at a different location on the table and then create some more and spread them across the table as well. Then select all the primitive game objects and add the rigid body component to it. Make sure that the use gravity is checked and ease kinematic is unchecked. All right, now to set up hand physics, all we need to do is navigate inside the camera rig, interactions, hand interactions, open the left hand synthetic and right hand synthetic, select OVR left hand visual, OVR right hand visual and add the hand physics capsule component. Then select the left hand visual and here we need to add the hand visual component which is over here. So select it and drag and drop it in here. Next we need to add the hand which is nothing but the synthetic hand and we need to add the joint radius feature which is going to be inside the left hand hand features left. Now do the same for the right hand visual as well. Now as you can see here the hand physics capsule component has created capsules for different hand joints and they're tracked as well. Now this will allow you to do things like these. Now you might be wondering will I be able to add grab interaction to all these objects? Won't they just move around when I try to grab them? And to answer that Nope, they will not move around. You can easily add grab interaction. So select all the objects, navigate inside Meta, Tools, Building Blocks. Scroll down till you find the grab interaction block. Select it and drag and drop it on top of any one of the game object. Now this will add the hand grab interactor for all of them. You can close this window and now when you press play and test it once again, you will see that the hand physics is still working. And at the same time, you'll be able to grab the object and throw them around. Now, before we end this video, let's create a fun experience where these objects are being thrown at you and you have to deflect them with your hands. So for that, select all these objects and delete them. Right click, create an empty game object and call it as spawn point and add a component called shooter. Now you can download this script from the link provided in the description below. What this component does is it references to a prefab and it's going to shoot that prefab at a regular interval with certain force at a random angle along the Y axis. So let's go ahead and create a ball prefab. Right click in your hierarchy, select 3D object and a spear. Scale it down to 0.05 in all the direction. Then scroll down and add a rigid body component. Make sure to check gravity and uncheck is kinematic. Then reset its position. Then drag and drop it inside the project window and delete it from your hierarchy. Select the spawn point and add the prefab over here. Now let's visualize this spawn point by creating a sphere as a child of this game object. Scale it down to 0.05 in all the direction and remove the sphere collider. Then select the spawn point and rotate it by 180 so that the forward axis is pointing towards you. Also, you can add some inclination to it. And then you can adjust the parameter inside the shooter component. I'd like to set the interval as 2 seconds and the shoot force as 5. 
all right so now let's save the scene and play it this is such a fun and challenging game that it really tests your reflexes now as this game requires fast hand movement you might experience small lag in hand tracking and to fix that you can select the camera rig scroll down to find the ovr manager and in here you can set the tracking frequency from low to high this will enable the fast motion mode which provides improved tracking and it's compatible with the quest 2 quest 3 and quest pro and that's it for this video thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one